Hi everyone, it's Shannon. Today I have 10 amazing Dollar Tree hacks for you, all for storage that are super inexpensive, simple, and practical. So first up are these wire racks that you can find at Dollar Tree, of course, in their organization section. We're gonna pair this idea with their shelf liner. And of course, the very first thing is to just line your shelf with your shelf liner and cut it down to size. I'm just sitting those wire shelves right on top of the shelf liner and using this as a storage for my Dollar Tree stickers. They have some adorable paper crafting supplies at Dollar Tree too, but you can also take this idea and also use it in your kitchen for things like soup packets or seasoning packets too. And here's another idea for these wire shelves. We're gonna take this one and alter it just a little bit. I am marking from the bottom of the legs up about an inch and a half. And we're gonna use some heavy duty pliers to bend those legs into the middle. So this worked perfectly and fit inside one of my craft room cabinets. I put it up underneath a shelf above some of my paints so that I could store my paint brushes here. These are some really handy little containers that Dollar Tree carries. They have a pop top on the top so it's easy to open and close. We are going to be adding a self-adhesive hook onto the back side of each one of these containers so that we can hang these measuring cups off of the back. These would be perfect to store sugar or flour in, cereal in, or even in your craft room to store things like maybe wood beads, um, little things that you can use your measuring cups to scoop them out with or measure your ingredients with. And this last one was sort of an oddball. It had a little plastic piece on the back. So I took my pliers to break it free because it definitely didn't need to be on there. And I'm not sure why it was different than the others, if it's the new style or if I just grabbed one of the old styles. So just if you come across that, it's super to just break that little plastic piece off and then add your hook over top. My Dollar Tree had a entire end cap full of these dish drainers, so I grabbed one knowing I could figure something out for organization with it. And they just happen to fit super perfectly right inside one of my new drawers. And I've decided to add some of my notebooks to this. And then also those little cutouts on the side, they are perfect for holding smaller things. So I just popped in some of my post-it notes. So they don't fall down in between those cracks and I can just grab them easily. And then obviously the little side pocket holds pens or markers perfectly too. Now this idea I actually saw on Pinterest and people have been zip tying them together, but I really like the look of these that kind of look like rainbows. And as you can see, they fit four across my shelves perfectly too. So I grabbed all of my acrylic paint out, put them into a rainbow order, and then made little mini rainbows to hold my acrylic paints. I also really think you could take this idea and also use it for things like maybe spice jars if you could find the right size, but they definitely work great for these little acrylic paint bottles. This was basically just labeled basket, but I really think it's sort of like a paper tray for an office type 
style basket, but we're gonna give it a completely different purpose. I also have a chalkboard that has a stand on the back. We're gonna use that to label the front with. So what I did is took my wire cutters and cut a rectangle out of one of the ends of this basket. And now we're gonna work on the chalkboard. We need to take the stand off of the back because we don't need that. We want our chalkboard to lay flat on this basket. And then I kind of had to decide, did I want it to go horizontally like this or did I want it vertically like this? You let me know down in the comments below which way do you think it should go. I ended up just deciding to go horizontally just so I could write on it. Um, bigger words, I guess, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, it just kind of made more sense for when I'm writing on it. Uh, you just use some hot glue to attach it onto the front. I flipped it upside down too to make sure that the basket was sticking to the back of that chalkboard really well. Then we need to prime our chalkboard. It's super simple. You take a piece of chalk and you run it all over your chalkboard. You get all those pores filled and then you come back in and erase it. It gives it a little bit more of a rustic look, but it also, when you go to write on it and erase it, you won't have those ghost shadow words left behind. It'll all just erase off for you. So this first idea is to add your extra grocery shopping bags into this. And I wanted to show you too how I attached it to the wall. These are my new favorite hooks. They are the clear removable hooks from Dollar Tree and they have more of like a gel back uh, glue on the back or adhesive on the back and they are super strong. So what I did is I just sat the basket on to four of the hooks, one on each corner, and then used it to store some of my bags. Another idea is to actually put your greenery and your floral in here for your craft room. If you guys have other ideas of what I could store in this basket, please leave those down in the comments below for me. And now we're going to turn this over the door hook into an under cabinet hook. And I did have to cut mine down because my shelf is only so long. So make sure to measure your shelf first and then cut it down a little bit longer than your shelf because we're gonna do some altering. And then instead of our hooks facing front or towards you, we're gonna bend those so they face the front. Now I need to cut one of those hooks off and then I bent that end up so that it would go and hook underneath the cabinet, which you'll see, and it all makes sense here shortly. Um, I was just kind of trial and erroring this point of the project and ended up cutting a lot of these extra pieces off and just having the four hooks and then bending over the end. And I'll give you a close up look of that. So we have those hooks on the bottom and then it's sort of like a sled shape on the top and that top hook is going to go up over your shelf like you see here in the back. But if you can see underneath here, the front is still kind of hanging loose. So all I did is take another one of those clear hooks from Dollar Tree, the removable ones that I love now and I need to stock my entire drawer full here in my craft room with because these are going to come in so so handy they're pretty heavy duty too and that just secured that top up against the bottom of the shelf and then you can add whatever you want on here i kind of have it set up with some kitchen items but you could utilize this in your craft room or bathroom too and now we're going to turn this wire wall hook rack 
um, and utilize it underneath my new island that is in my craft studio. But you could do this in a kitchen too. I feel like you could put this on the end of a cabinet and use it for towels and cutting boards. I'm using mine here up underneath this island to hold some of my vinyl cutting mats and rulers. And again, I am using those clear removable hooks from Dollar Tree to secure this wire rack onto the underneath side here. I'm telling you, I am going to buy a ton of these the next time I'm there. This is the first time I've actually seen them in the Dollar Tree and I hope they keep them around for a long time because they are really great hooks. I think we're all loving these giant planters that Dollar Tree came out with this year. You can see how big they are compared to my hand here. Um, if you love them too, give this video a thumbs up. I have so many ideas to share with you, so make sure to subscribe so you come back and you don't miss those. I'm actually going to be making a blanket holder out of this one. And I didn't necessarily like the terracotta color for our home decor, so I just took some uh, black spray paint. This is kind of fancy black spray paint. It's all I had on hand. It was actually supposed to be for another project, but you know what? Sometimes you have to sacrifice <laughs> for the greater good. And I'll have to get some more of this for the next time around and the next project. But you can see here on the fireplace, I have it sat up on the hearth and then I just rolled up some of our extra blankets and sat them inside. They have these great multi-purpose clips and also I had a bamboo cutting board. We're gonna make a little note holder. Super duper quick, fast, simple, easy, cheap, all of the above. Basically, I have a sawtooth picture hanger and I'm going to add that to the back. I will link these down in the description box. I get these from Amazon in a pack and they're so easy. You just hammer the ends right down. So if you do a lot of picture hanging, art, photography these come in handy um, for all kinds of home decor that you're gonna be hanging up um, and then on the top I'm just taking some hot glue and adding that that chip clip multi-purpose clip whatever it is to the top with some hot glue and that's all there is to it If you enjoy this type of content, I would love to have you hit that subscribe button, join our DIY family for new DIYs, tutorials, and inspiration here every single week. Also hit that thumbs up button, let me know which one of these projects was your favorite, and also I'll have more inspiration popping up on your screen that you can check out next. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.